can kind of sneak up a little bit. You had all the Halloween fun, especially if you've got young kids and then yep. here comes Turkey Day. You might have actually started preparing a few weeks ago. If you did that, nice job. Or maybe you're like me and you're going to go to someone's house. You <laughs> haven't even started thinking about it yet. But for turkey farmers, their preparation starts in January. So KSHB 41 News reporter Claire Bradshaw joins us live from our kitchen this morning. Claire, turkey farmers are a voice that we don't often hear from. No, and it's probably because they're so busy with starting in January, right? Just to get a turkey to your table for next Thursday. So when you're in your kitchen this week, you know, thank a farmer for what you're able to do. I talked with Remington Keston. He is a turkey farmer in Concordia, Missouri. He owns David's Pasture, and they start, like we said, out in January by ordering their turkeys. In June, they get their brooders ready. In July come the birds, and then by October, those turkeys are birchered, plucked, and frozen. Now they're in the home stretch of delivering the final birds before the feast. This this week leading up to Thanksgiving uh, is our biggest week of the year when we're trying to get all of our turkeys delivered uh, to folks in Kansas City as well as ready for farm pickups here in Concordia. Most of our business is delivering door to door in Kansas City area as far as East Olathe and as far north as Gladstone. So as for pricing, Keston said they did have to raise prices a little bit because of production costs, but during COVID demand was so high, they were able to balance that off with just supplying more birds. All right, so Claire, there's actually a few other turkey farms here in our area. Did any of them give insight on how this year has been for them? Yeah, I talked with a couple yesterday. All of them have, you know, butchered their turkeys by now and they're frozen or, you know, shipped off to grocery stores, however they uh, function. But most of them said, you know, they had a good year. One of them I spoke with said that they did have to raise their prices about 10%, uh, which is similar to Remington Keston's story because of production costs. But they also had raised 600 birds total. All, All right, right, Claire Bradshaw, live for us this morning. Thank you very much, Claire.